Hey, how's it going? This is Hellbent, and welcome to Auto Hotkey GUI Mini Tutorial Number Three. In this one, we're going to look at adding buttons to our GUI as well as having them execute a subroutine. So, I've already created my template here, which is a GUI with a width of 500 and a height of 500. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in our next control. So the first control that we looked at was the text control. This time we're going to do the button control. So we just type in GUI, add, and then the type of control we want. So in this case, it's buttons. So we just type in button, and then we're going to need to position it on our GUI. So I'm going to have an X of 10 a Y of 10 so it's up in the top left corner now with the buttons and a lot of our other controls they will size themselves like the width and height except for example they will do that on their own depending on what's contained in it so like let's say the button has some text on it it will size itself but usually it's better for you to decide how big it's going to be so that way you have more control of the end product that you're going to be creating so for that we're just going to type in a width and for our example we're going to use a width of 100 pixels wide now with the height with the default text size I think it's 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 either it's somewhere between a, a type size of 8 or 12 I don't know exactly which one it is but what we need to do is we need to create enough height in our button in order for it to accommodate that's that default size so I think the minimum is about 15 it could be a little bit less for buttons maybe I'm thinking of edits but let's say let's say for this sake of argument that we need a minimum height of 15 In other words some of the text is going to get cut off so bear that in mind when you are creating these buttons okay the next thing what we're going to do is before I jump into the label the whole subroutine part is we're just going to add some text so the text that's going to get displayed on our button is press me all right, and we'll have a look at what we have. And we can play around with our button to make it uh, suit our needs. So let's go ahead and make our button a little bit bigger. So I'm going to change its width to 200, and its height I'm going to change to, let's go with 50. So we'll have a nice big button. Okay, so here we go. But when we press on it, nothing happens. So what we need to do is we need to create a call to a subroutine. So we need to trigger a subroutine or a label to be executed. So what we need to do is two things. In our options for our button, we need to type in G, which stands for go to label. And then we need the name of a label or our subroutine. So let's call this um, So we're going to trigger a subroutine called I don't care what it's called. Now we're going to come down here underneath our GUI and we're going to write that in again. And since I'm a slow typer, I'm just going to copy this. So we take everything except for the G, we copy that, we come down here, paste it in, and then after it we need one colon. At the end of our subroutine, we need to have a return, so we'll just add that in right away. And now we need to decide what this subroutine is actually going to do. So it can do tons and tons of different things. It can open up programs. It can do pretty much anything that you want to do. It can do it. We're going to keep it a simple example. So what we're going to do is we're going to have it do two things. We're going to have it, is it most move? Yeah, okay. We're going to have it move our cursor to... Let's go X of 100 and Y of 500. So we're going to move our cursor to the location of X 100, Y 500, and we're going to change its speed to its slowest speed of 100. Once it gets there, we're going to have it pop up a message box. But like I said, we can, use, we can do anything we want in here. We can have it do anything we want. But for this, we're just going to have it move our mouse and then pop up a message box. 
Okay, so there we go. So when we press the button, it's going to come into this label and it's going to execute the contents of it. So the first thing it's going to do is going to move our cursor from wherever it currently is over to probably somewhere about here, I think. And then once it's done that, it's going to pop up a message box that says we are done. All right, so let's have a look. So let me move this over here. All right. And I do not get that. All right. Okay, let's try that again. All right, so I press it. And it moves my cursor to... Ah, uh, I see what's going on. Okay, so you've seen how, how it moves down here. Now, if we want it to be related to our screen, because right now our everything is related to our GUI, so let's change that. Let's make it so that way it's based on my screen. So we're going to say chord mode, and then mouse, and then relate it to our screen. So that way it's not based on the dimensions of our GUI. And I will run it again. Okay, so when I press it, this time it should come over to somewhere about here. I press it, moves my cursor, and then pops up a message box that says we are done. And we are done. All right, that's it for this one. Come back for the next one, which will be I don't know what yet, but I will see you there. Be sure to hit the like button or the dislike button. Your choice, but do one of them. It's uh, This series depends on that activity of yours, so if you don't take the two seconds to do it, you'll know why that these tutorials don't come anymore. All right, have a good day, and I'll see you on the next one.